Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. We're going a little different road today. That's right, we got one of these, you know, kind of retro arcade classic kind of games. Ryzen Chase Turbo from back in 2018. It's one of those games that Epic offered as, uh, you know, a freebie. One of those days where, you know, every week you get some kind of freebie. And it's, you know, got some serious outrun throwback kind of feel to it with, you know, modern graphics-ish. Throwback, but sharp. You know, that kind of thing. And potential for a different kind of fun. Let's turn the volume down. I'm actually voicing this over after the fact because although I did like a full, you know, voiceover while I was doing the racing, I was doing this in my, my base Black Knight account, which I don't generally do recording from, and I'd never set up the microphone. So, that was a lot of energy off into space for absolutely nothing. As you can see, there's DLCs. Uh, the Summer Vibes is obviously an outrun kind of throwback kind of thing. I think it was outrun with the convertible and the two people. So we're starting out in the basic California zones here. I think I took this one because it was like so throwback to the, the 80s and the, you know. You only get the two cars to start out with. I guess some you could pay to unlock, some you can... I, I hadn't really worked all that out yet as I was doing things. Do they unlock as you just get hit certain scores? That's a nice looking Mustang. 69 Shelby. They have good taste. I truly dwelled on that car for a while. So that's going to be a goal somewhere along the line. There you got your, uh, your Tofu Runner, I believe. There's a 9F. <laughs> to all my GTA buddies out here. Another Mustang, Camaro. Brazil races to unlock. South Africa. Greece. There's a lot of different... There's going to be a lot of races, you know? I'll get all the super trophies in the world and God only knows what you get. They, they give you enough stuff where you want to play the game and unlock things. It's got a reward system. It looks nice. Win both Porto Alegre. Okay, I think we start out with the red car. Just because. You know, tradition. Although I did end up using uh, what I began to call uh, the other car True Blue for a lot of the races because the handling is better. But this, this, this start car is not bad. It's good. San Francisco Grass Hills. Okay, the first thing I want to call your attention to is the alternating grays. Which were the... That wasn't brakes, I just lifted. The alternating grays that give you almost like that kind of flickering effect that... That was how they give you a sensation of speed. Even if you look in the grass, that's... It's very old school. We're taking our first cruise around here. It's a, it's a lot of fun. You know, you get you get a very I'm at Aladdin's castle or top dog kind of feel if you're from Northeast Pennsylvania and you're Gen X, you know what I'm talking about. There, there's an arcade at the mall now. They brought something back, but it's got like a giant Pac-Man screen and a bunch of you know cranes and some pinball. Not it's just not the same, you know? I think there's at least one racing game there, but I'm not sure what it is. See, yeah, that's funny. This would be, I think, a lot of fun with a wheel. You know, if you had, like, you know... Space bar for Nitro. I haven't used the Nitro yet. So there you go. At this point, I was starting to wonder if you could go off the course, or if the course was just kind of just there. <laughs> That's I will see. Can I do a nitro right in the middle of a turn? Will that matter? It apparently did not. 
Yay, we win! The first of many. <laughs> there is a multiplayer mode for this, but I think I, I, I'm going to really want to play it a lot before I start trying to do multiplayer. Just missed the super trophy on that. I'm debating whether I want to go through and unlock some more areas or go back over California and do the get all super trophies. Because apparently if you get all the super trophies of all the areas, then you unlock something special. I'm guessing it's 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 gonna be Mr. Bean's Mini. That's what they're gonna. So for this one, I think we decided to go with again a car we'll call True Blue. The handling on it's very nice. So we're talking 130, slightly less top speed, but more acceleration and better handling. I mean, for a race, that's usually a lot better. Less nitro. You know, I don't know if that, that is the nitro effectiveness or how much you get. Rocky road. The road isn't actually rocky. There's just just a decor. We got just bumped a guy who has family, so you gotta be careful there. And boom, we're up in the, you know, we're, we're working our way up. We kind of got caught up in traffic there at first, but. Yeet this thing in the turn. It really does hug the inside. This road, this tune, deja vu. That's an interesting thing. I'm not sure why it would be deja vu. Is this like something from a prominent video game that I just was there for, but maybe didn't retain, you know? Ooh, we just bumped the car there because there were rocks on the road. That's the rocky road. I guess it is a rocky road, but not like it's, it's not like the road itself is rocky. It's just that there are rocks every once in a while. Final lap, we're already up in the second, and look at that, did prove that we can go off the road. Use the nitro to catch back up. But this car really does handle quite well, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. We'll talk more about your know, car choice once I get to the upgrades. I was running over things that go goob, 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 the best feeling ever. I don't know. So we won that one. I think this was our first super trophy. All the tokens. Super trophy! Okay, there we go. All right, we, we did it. Super, super, super. Yay, okay. First place in all tokens, that's the trick. And we unlocked the bliss. Which I didn't really feel a need to try. You look at it and it's like, let you know, it's just one mile per hour top speed, less acceleration and less handling. Wasn't calling to me. If you're in a race, why would you pick one over the other? You know, it's like, eh. I'm glad it's there. Yeah, we'll talk more about this once the, the upgrades start to become a thing. We're not, we're not at that point in the conversation yet. So they, they bumped each other a little bit. The car is very precise. It allows you to do some things. Bloop. That guy blocked me from getting the nitro. So I hit that on the straightaway just to try and close with the traffic. 
we can make some passes here. You need top five to unlock a ghost car so you can compare how you did the previous run. So there's first, so I'm trying to catch. Not a lot of traffic. So we go around the 57 Chevy. It's very much, you know, an open road. You got, you got some lap traffic. Put some, put some speed down. Not a super trophy, though. I don't think. No super trophy. Not bad. And did this unlock the upgrade race? Yes, it did. So here's how you can upgrade your cars. I guess in every, each section there is, uh, you know, an upgrade race. And so if you get third in that race, you can upgrade all your cars. And in theory, it's probably a little bit harder. And six laps of a mile long. Now, I don't know if this is all cars you already have or all future cars. I think it's all future cars as well. The complete waste of a turbo here because it's just, it's just not enough room. I'm going through the, the traffic like I'm actually a normal player in GTA Online just ramming into people. The car seems to be blocking the, the lines a little bit more than usual, so it's... I'm out of nitro, that's a problem, but... So I need two more positions. Lap four of six. I hadn't figured out how to, by this point, how many, how to figure out how much nitro you had left, even though there's just a little counter right there. I don't know if the fuel becomes a thing, can you run out of gas? In theory. Okay, so that's what I needed. So there's second. Final lap. Okay, got caught off there. I'm in third. Okay, that's... I would have lost uh, third, but that guy ran into me and I wrecked him. So, we got third. Wasn't great. No, it's not great racing. But we ended up, up... You know, we did unlock the upgrade. So, choose an upgrade. Now... I'm thinking about this in the now, thinking about later on, and you know, as I was racing more. The reason I didn't pick suspension here is because I really didn't think that True Blue there needed more handling. But the other cars that were a little bit faster probably could use it. So the next one will probably by unlock will be suspension. But I think I did the exhaust. I thought about it. I thought about all three of them. They all look good. But I think I ended up choosing to give True Blue a little bit more oomph with the exhaust. Speed and acceleration. Those were its party pieces, so we thought we'd, we'd go with that. Ah. 
JTV is trying to sell me stuff. Okay. So we did the upgrade. You know, can you do it again? Oh, that's right. I did it again to see if you can get another upgrade. This was the first race I did with the ghost. So apparently he get a lot of upgrades. And there's the ghost. That's me from the last race. So it's a little rough at the beginning, but you'll notice I wasn't using any nitros. Now I'm, I've figured out the mechanic. I'm saving my nitros until I need to recover. And I've got an upgrade, so I can go faster overall anyway. I'm running almost nitro speeds here. Old nitro speeds. Car is still handling fine, so... For these early races, I think I, I made the good move. But later on, I might want the suspension upgrade. Now, here's an interesting thing. I'm just thinking about this now. The next time this comes around, will I get a choice of the three things as well? Is it the same thing, three things for every track? So do I want to keep maxing out the exhaust? Or do, you, do I now have an opportunity for the just the suspension and the air intake until... Or will it be three completely different upgrades? Like, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing. How are they going to do it? I'm going to figure that out as we progress forward. And this time I won. And <laughs> got the Ghostbuster, so I beat myself. Beat my old time. So we'll go Sequoia National Park. Guess I had to ponder that for a second. So again, like th that handling, you know, might be important. If four is really kind of a threshold. Where you're 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 not you're, where you have more control in the curves. And I wonder if, you know, there's a lot of things I'm still wondering. Like, as you unlock cars, are they definitely more powerful, or is it largely slight variations? Slight variations on a theme, and everything's roughly the same. So if you want to just like the blue car, you can just keep the blue car for all the races, and you'll do fine. I don't know. Like, you think the Koenigsegg would be a lot faster. But if I am in a Viper, maybe not. You know, they're all... You can see where they would let the initial D racer be as fast as the Kona Seg because reasons. You gotta love the polygons, you know, there's just so... The, the road is flashing by such a fast... I don't know that I... Do I need an, uh, an epileptic flashing lights warning? I don't know. I don't think so. The trees literally look like they're made out of like Lego or something like that. So it's this this could be all just something that a kid built that you're driving around your room. It's very old school. This is back in the days when we would suspend our disbelief. And this was like, wow, would you look at the realism? There was a time. And this is actually much better graphics than, you know, what I had in my youth. 
But it's very evocative. Very evocative of the old school games. Which I think is the goal. I think is the goal. Just to try and get that feeling back. And even though the speeds are are probably at least the listed speeds are on the same order of magnitude as what you get in GTA Online, it feels faster somehow. You're you're closing on the cars faster. You're zipping around them. The most you can do is give someone a boop or a bump. You're not turning anybody. You're not spinning out. You know, it's at least not yet. We'll see what happens when we get to multiplayer, but that's that might be that might be a while. I wonder if anybody even plays this as multiplayer. It's from 2018. I have it because it's a freebie. I'm having fun with it. After is it really a multiplayer, I think I'd be fine. I'm just going to go through and try and unlock all the tracks and unlock all the cars. And... Well, we're trying to race the guy with family. Tried to sneak it to the inside and that did not work out. Final lap, so... Sorry, Dom. Just gonna have to keep going here. At this point, I'm looking over because I'm not driving. I hadn't really used the map at all during this game. So that was first. I, I blipped first with the nitro at the line. That was fun. Beat him by four hundredths of a second there. Or is that no? It's sixteen. Sixteen. Tenths of a one point six tenths of a second. I can do math. No, I'm just glancing at it the wrong way. You can see it's going to be tricky to get super trophies. So I guess it's time to go to L.A. True blue, baby. All the way, true blue. Well, that's got the slightly better top speed, but the handling is a good bit less than true blue. I guess the 137 sold me, so we're going to try it. I'm wondering, does it really matter? I think I found out it matters. The True Blue does actually race a lot better. There's True Blue. Yeah, True Blue would not have bumped that. I'm thinking. Fourteenth with four laps left. Wow, 170 miles an hour going into the turn. That is impressive. That's interesting how they, they, they use that to make it look like you're going up a hill. That's again very old school. Definitely struggling with the red card to, to get through all the turns. Higher speed, less handling, that's that's becoming a problem. Use the nitro to try and catch up. I curled myself again. I think I might have had to redo this.
You can see there, I'm just not as neat with the red car. Fourth, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. Yeah, fourth red car is just not, not, not doing for me what the blue one could. Not a super trophy either. Got all the tokens, but then didn't win. So we unlocked Chile. And we unlocked the amateur tournament, whichever that means. Game mode adventures. But Los Angeles stuck in my craw. Like, give me, give me true blue. I don't know if you could paint these, but I don't think I would. That blue and white paint scheme is actually, you know, kind of traditional for like, you know, Shelby Daytona coupe kind of things. Okay, so we're already ahead of the ghost. Let's see if we can stay ahead of the ghost. Already got all the tokens. So now we're going to look for first. Three laps left and we're already, already in fourth where we finished last time. Uh, I, I tried to squeeze around the outside to get to, to get past that car. But hey, that's what nitros are for, right? To make up for mistakes. That little hum in the, the earphone that you're running off the road. We're in second. Final lap, we're in second place. First is right there. Oh, at last, but can you hang on to it? No. You're saving it. I'm gonna try and pass him naturally aspirated. That was close. That one was two hundredths of a second. Difference that was the close one. That's why I remembered. All right, first place, all tokens, super trophy. So I made amends. So now we got Knight of Angels. I think I, I think I finished all the California races. Don't know what I'm pondering. I know I'm gonna go with it. The night of angels. Send me an angel right now. Love the color scheme here. That that pastel section there was just so so 80s. And I, I just reflexively avoided the nitro because it was just a thing in the road I didn't recognize. Yeah, it's so 80s right there. It's so nice. So LA. It's okay. Made up for it this time. Second time around. Got the nitro. Excuse me. Is 
Now, at this point, I had been saving my nitros for accidents to recover. Final lap, and I'm in third. Starting to panic a little now. Just held that. Still have a couple nitros, but I'm in first. And blip one across the line. This might look like it's extremely easy. And for a lot of it, it is. But it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a relaxing change of pace. It really is from, you know, from my normal GTA stunt racing where someone's sending me off a cliff. The legend. And we have a legend adventure. There's a lot of layers to this game. It's going to be interesting to go through everything. Again, Legend, I looked at it, and like, eh. True Blue. Let us do True Blue. Is that a Veyron? I think that's a Veyron on the left, isn't it? And a 9F on the side there, and then you got a 57 Chevy. And they, they all seem to have roughly comparable performance. So I think... That, that can be a good thing, too, because then you can just drive whatever car you want you don't have to worry about, well, you know, I really need to take the Krieger because, you know, I just missed the Nitro on that. Oop. I felt like that straightaway was the right place to hit it. Plus, I felt myself falling behind. Like, the rest of the cars were speeding up a little bit more. Just missed that Nitro again. Missed all the tokens just. Go around the Mustang. Ooh, Mustang put me into the rocks. I don't know if he did it deliberately, but, you know. Or just wasn't enough room. Two laps to go. I'm in fourth. I'm closing on Mustang, but not real fast. Third place. I've got one turbo, so I'm trying to save it. Is there anybody up there? There's second. Final lap. There's second and first, I believe. Lap traffic. There we go. In the first without the use of nitro. On that pass, I mean, like, obviously, I still have one. Saving it for an emergency. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be a thing we can do here for, for Win on Sundays? Is this a, a game that is relaxing enough and still, you know, pretty enough and still fun and interesting enough that it would make a good video? And that's that's going to be the question. As far as playing it as a game, it's all those things. But does it make good video? I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to see. We're going to experiment a little bit. This won't be the last time you see this. We finished California. We unlocked the Easter Island. We unlocked the Fancy Gray, which is the 9F. The R10, the Audi R10. And the Fancy Gray Adventure. There's, there's so much to do with the game, you know? Or is there very little to do with the game? It's just the same thing over and over again. Isn't that really... How come it's Holly Mood? That's funny.
But I think that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first taste of... What was it called? Yeah, that, that other race game. <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.